So, many of you know that, at least back in the fall, I've had an interesting relationship with making content about Microsoft Windows 10 updates. Everyone's hated them, everyone's, you know, had issues with them, but there were some truly baffling stuff going on with files getting deleted and things like that with the 7, or with the 1809 update trying to be pushed out for Windows 10. Microsoft has actually fixed this, theoretically, the idea of it, fix the concept that people have trouble with, as well as some of the GPU allocation stuff that I'm just throwing in here because I haven't had a chance to talk about it yet. But then they're making things worse again. So we're gonna talk about this right after this. TubeBuddy is the best tool you can get to manage your YouTube channel. You can update videos in bulk, optimize your SEO, syndicate to social media, back up your metadata, and more, all with a simple browser extension. Head to eposvox.com slash TubeBuddy to learn more and download it for free. So Microsoft has made the potential biggest change to Windows 10 in all of its history in that they are finally giving users the control back to control when updates are installed. They can delay updates by more than a month. They can choose at what point they're installed, whether they're installed. You can delay both minor updates and major feature updates or the service pack replacements. You get the control back. But that requires you to have the Windows 10 1903 update, which was supposed to be the March update and now it's due out in May. And the problem with that is that Microsoft is already delaying it and issuing warnings about the updates associated with this major feature upgrade because one of the updates was freezing Windows 10 computers. One of the newer updates is freezing computers during normal operation or during boot up, and that one is KB4493509, uh, and this seems to be due to conflicts with antivirus software. And keep in mind, they've had tons of issues with updates since my last videos. I just got tired of ranting about it here. And now they are blocking the update on computers that are running USB storage devices, so flash drives or SD cards. If you have one of those plugged into your system, they're blocking the, the update from actually installing on your computer because during the update process, during the install process, it, it ends up reassigning drive letters incorrectly and really messing with some people's computers. And that's not even the first time this has happened. This actually happened back during 1803. I remember this was a huge deal. It started assigning drive letters such as D to the system recovery partitions on people's hard drives. And then those people would end up with a buttload of notifications saying your hard drive is full, your hard drive is full because it's referring to that partition. That happened in 1803. And now this seems to be similar to that in that the update can just totally screw with your drive letters. So if you have USB storage plugged into your computer, Windows just won't even let you install the update anymore, which is the update that gives you control if you install updates. Now, this blocking seems only be happening if you're on the 2018 feature upgrades. So that's 1803 or 1809. If you're still on 1703 or 1709, apparently it lets you upgrade just fine to 1903. So I don't know why they're not blocking for that one unless there's like the issue with 1803 compounded with this one is causing the problem. But that's a little weird. Uh, but you, the, the, the obvious solution is just to unplug any USB storage you have and then you will be able to install the update and just hope that your drive letters aren't too screwed up afterwards. I'm both praising Microsoft here and still complaining about the update issues because they did 100% make the change that we have been demanding for years at this point, since 2015, to give us control over our updates. This is the big thing that has held back so many people from switching from Windows 7 to Windows 10 is that one option and they have given it to us. And I am super freaking stoked for that. But immediately after doing so, there's still broken update after broken update after broken update, which isn't really helping the reputation there. I did want to mention that one of the updates coming in the 2019 updates, you may already even have it on your computer, was previously in testing in the Insider program a while back and I tried to update my video descriptions and I tweeted it out as much as I could. Uh, but Microsoft has actually made changes to how game mode works in order to whitelist OBS and streaming apps to help alleviate some of the GPU allocation issues. Now I was skeptical at first about this because there, you know, one of the obvious solutions that I mentioned when I talked about GPU allocation issues is that turning game mode, you know, turning game mode was one of the obvious suggestions that I heard time and time again, 
That didn't actually fix the issue, neither did disabling full screen optimizations and things like that. But apparently even if you disable game mode, whatever game mode is optimized for or whitelisted for can still affect your performance, which is okay, whatever. And so they have released an update in this 2019 wave of updates that optimizes game mode a bit and whitelists specific programs like OBS Studio to allow it to allocate more resources in your, GP your graphics card to allow game streaming to function more appropriately. This seems to help 1080p and 1440p stuff a lot. 4K gaming still seems to be struggling. It has to do with render times and things like that. But for most people, this at least gets you 90% of the way towards a fix. And when a lot of people, you know, already just needed that extra bit squeezed out, should fix it for you and you should be fine. As far as I understand, this is kind of like phase one of two of the updates and they're hoping to like keep working at it to make it better and better. But I am glad this is something I made noise about for years because it's finally happening. And on top of all of this that they have also killed off the tabbed file browser stuff that I was very much looking forward to. The problem with that was they wanted to add tabs to literally everything and that was just turning into too much. Users who were testing it apparently didn't understand it or didn't want it, understandably, and then as they were switching Edge over to Chromium, since they were using Edge as the basis for this tab system, they would have to redo everything. But instead of canceling the whole project, how about they just give us what we wanted to begin with, which was purely a tabbed base file browser. File browser. That's all we wanted. We didn't want tabbed notepads and command prompts and PowerPoints and Word document. That, that was too much. Just give us a tabbed file browser, like how Clover used to work, we'd be good to go. But they are keeping MS Paint around for a little bit longer. After having announced they were killing it off in favor of Paint 3D, it is coming back and sticking around for a little bit longer. So that's pretty cool at least. So huge kudos to Microsoft for these major updates because that is really freaking good. Just please stop releasing updates that you then have to tell people not to install or prevent them from installing because come on. <laughs> Just wanted to make a kind of like a conclusion to the Windows Update Saga video here because I made a lot of videos about that a while back and a lot of people were curious what was going on with it. Now you know. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more tech education. I'm Vox, and I will see you next time.